This is what I call a fidget switch. But what makes it special? There are two things. First, it's an example of a bistable mechanism. A bistable mechanism is essentially a switch. It wants to be in one of two positions at any time. This is because of this flexible, thin piece of plastic. It essentially acts like a spring. When the switch is at its midpoint, the small triangle piece adds tension to the spring. In a perfect world, if there's no friction, this tension would cause the switch to always want to fall on either side. The spring is also able to work because it's not fixed to the pegs on the sides. This gives the spring more ability to flex. The second thing that makes it special is the fact that it's designed as a print-in-place mechanism. This is a manufacturing method that's only possible with 3D printing, and it's actually really clever. From the top view, you can't see any of the internal mechanism. However, when we scroll down, layer by layer, you can see the internal mechanism. Now, at first glance, it may look fairly simple, but there's actually a lot going on. The diameter of all of the pegs starts out small, gets bigger, and then decreases again. This makes it so all of the components stay in place. It's a really good way of securing parts without needing any screws, caps, or clips. But there are even more clever tricks to this print-in-place design. This print requires a fair amount of bridging in order for it to work. Bridging is where the 3D printer prints over mid-air. Here you can see the nozzle extruding a strand of filament over the gap. This will connect the axle of the switch to the frame. The entire back side of the switch will also be filled in. Here you can see it filling in the entire back side of the switch. It is diagonally bridging the gap. This will connect all of the components together. And the reason I sliced it seemingly upside down is because the internal components need to be free. If I sliced it in this orientation, the parts would be floating in midair. This would be impossible to 3D print. If I print it this way, the parts can adhere to the bed. That allows for pre-connected, assembled components. Print-in-place parts are extremely cool because it's so easy for anyone to 3D print. All you have to do is drag the file into your slicer, and in this case, I'm using Cura, and hit slice. Then send the file to your 3D printer, click print, and you're done. So the two things that make the fidget switch so special are the fact that it's a perfect example of a bi-stable mechanism and a print-in-place design. If you liked this video, check out the world's simplest sun tracker. It's one of my favorite videos and I think you'll really like it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. You guys are great, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new. The files for this design are available for free on my website, 3dprinteracademy.com. My name is Steven, I'm the creator of 3D Printer Academy. I'm glad you're here and thanks for watching.